Another major Supreme Court ruling this week allowing the use of taxpayer money for tuition assistance at religious schools. Kai Porter looked into what this ruling means for New Mexicans. Ellen Bernstein, president of the Albuquerque Teachers Federation, is critical of the U.S. Supreme Court ruling allowing public money for religious education. This is an unfortunate erosion of a basic foundational belief in our country that there's a separation of church and state. And that erosion of a foundational belief will also erode public education for the public good, which I believe is essential for a healthy democracy. Bernstein says right now nothing will change in New Mexico because our state does not allow public funding for private schools. I think it would take changes in state law to allow something like this to happen in our state. I don't think that needs to happen immediately, but I think this sets that process in place. While nothing changes now, one state lawmaker plans to reintroduce a bill here at the Roundhouse during the next legislative session that would have some very big changes, especially now in light of the Supreme Court's ruling. Republican Senator Craig Brandt thinks parents should get tuition assistance from the state if they choose to send their child to a private school, including religious ones. Our children are not failing school. Our schools are failing our children and our parents need to have that ability to choose what's the best place for their children to get an education. His bill failed last legislative session, but when he brings it back, he says it would now include religious schools for public funding. The effect of this ruling, if we did pay for private schooling or allowed uh, some of our taxpayer dollars to be spent for private schooling, would be that uh, any school, whether they're uh, sectarian or not, whether they're a religious school or not, uh, would be able to receive that funding. A debate that will play out at the Roundhouse. Kai Porter, KOB4.